NBA players who got humiliated after trash-talking Steph Curry. Stephen Curry is regarded as one of the greatest shooters in NBA history. Though Curry is famous for his extravagant celebrations after shooting outrageous baskets, he is usually considered a nice guy, with his easygoing demeanor and youthful enthusiasm on the court. We all know Steph rarely gets furious or provoked, but certain guys want to test his gangsta. Y'all know that meme going around, mess around and find out? Well, with Steph, the more you mess around, the more you find out. Join us in this video as we look at all the humiliation these players endured from trash-talking the two-time MVP. Chris Paul The first incident occurred during the 2019 Western Semifinals between the Dubs and the Rockets. In Game 6, Stephen Curry scored 33 points in the second half to help the Golden State Warriors defeat the Houston Rockets and advance to the Western Conference Finals. Curry's second half burst was incredible, given that he had gone without any score in the first half extending what had been a terrible series for him up to that point. According to the Athletics' Marcus Thompson, Curry's slow start in Game 6 may have been due to some scheming on Chris Paul's part, who changed Curry's plan before the scheduled game. According to Thompson, Curry had reserved practice time on the Rockets' court from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Paul heard about it and rushed to the arena to deny Curry's practice time. Thompson says, on the night before Friday's Game 6 of the Western Conference Semifinals, after arriving from the Bay Area, Curry wanted to get some shots up at Toyota Center. The Warriors' do-it-all manager, Eric Hoosen, booked the court from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. so Curry could work on his shot. Somehow, Rockets guard Chris Paul got wind of it. He decided to go to Toyota Center to get shots up, nixing Curry's reservations. The Warriors' point guard offered to stick to half a court, but Paul wasn't having it. Curry was kicked off the Toyota Center court. What Curry did after that will amaze you. Damn, that was savage. Curry roared at Draymond Green after the Warriors beat the Rockets. Thompson's claim is similar to what ESPN's Brian Windhorst said on SportsCenter following Game 6. Windhorst claimed that after defeating the Rockets, the Warriors locker room became boisterous with players making fun of Paul. As the players were going into the locker room, quite a few were bringing up Chris Paul's name, and it wasn't always in the greatest of light, Windhorst said. I think there's a real animosity. Okay guys, let's move on to the next story. Because we're talking about players who face the wrath of staff after talking garbage, this video wouldn't be complete without the inclusion of Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly allegedly made a snide remark about Steph Curry years ago, and it stayed with him to this day. After Curry and the Warriors dominated the NBA for five years in a row, Beverly allegedly informed Curry, you had the last five years, the next five years are mine. The alleged argument occurred during the Clippers' win over the Warriors early in the 2019-2020 season. The popular story continues to spread, and social media reminds him of his comments every year. The comment's been used as ammo against Beverly since the first report. The trolls will surely never forget to remind Beverly of his comments because he's been traded to various teams while Curry has stayed with Golden State. Poor Patrick. But maybe that's why they say you should do good to have good. Anyway, like with Pat Bev, Steph became involved with another person. But this time, the man he became entangled with was not a player in the game. It was Kendrick Perkins. Kendrick Perkins was signed by the Cleveland Cavaliers just before the start of the playoffs. His primary objective was to give an experienced voice. However, he did occasionally provide his support to the Cavs by engaging in some trash talking. Stephen Curry seems to have stepped on Perkins' foot at the end of the third quarter, as shown in the footage. Ouch! Even though it was unintentional, Perkins was not going to let Curry off the hook. The big man stood up and addressed Curry. It isn't easy to understand what they were saying to one another. We may safely presume that none of those words were pleasant. Curry moved away, evidently thinking Perkins' antics were unnecessary. However, this is why the Cavaliers acquired him. He isn't well known for his basketball abilities. He's known for his ferocity on the court and his ability to read his opponent's minds. Fans responded to ESPN's Chris Haynes' tweet about the incident, stating Curry is simply fake tough while others wondered why Curry was talking to the Cavaliers' cheerleaders. Others pounced on Perkins, claiming that he'll be unable to do much but cheer on the Cavaliers. The end result? Curry and the Warriors went on to win two rings since that incident, 
and Kendrick is now on ESPN, making the worst takes possible. Kevin Porter Jr. We all know that saying from Flight. Look at Curry, man, so inspirational. Um, Kevin Porter Jr. took it too seriously as he stared down Steph late in January. Look at him, it's just disrespectful. While Curry was regaining his breath and waited for the ball to be inbounded in the third quarter, Porter mimicked his position, both with their hands on their knees, with his face directly over Curry's shoulder. Steph seemed to dismiss him as if nothing had occurred, but believe me, even if KPJ had apologized immediately, it would have been too late. The bear was poked, the fire was lit, and as Michael Jordan would say, it became personal. The Houston Rockets were giving the Golden State Warriors every bit of resistance they had in them earlier this year, and it appeared to be dragging the Warriors down for nearly three quarters. But then, in the fourth quarter, Stephen Curry went off. He scored 21 of his 40 points in the fourth quarter, giving Golden State the 122-108 victory. It all began with Kevin Porter Jr.'s trash talk against Curry. It's a nice game within the game, Curry said. It's not the first time and it won't be the last time. I started bringing it to another level. You always have it, but you definitely bring another level of competitiveness when you have fun stuff like that. I take it all as entertainment, but sometimes you need a little boost. Curry shot 7 of 10 from the floor in the fourth quarter, including 4 of 7 from beyond the arc. He's always had a high level of confidence, and it stayed strong during this slump because he goes into every game with the conviction that his abilities and the hard work he puts in will ultimately pay off. He refers to it as the major even-keeled approach. He was confident that he would find his shot no matter what. Porter, on the other hand, hastened the process. I don't react, but it's a little adrenaline rush, Curry said. Whatever gas that's got to go in the tank to get you out of a low point, I'll take. KJP went to Steph for advice after trash talking and staring down the chef and getting 40 dropped on his head. Ha <laughs> oh well, that's surely a good one. Anyway, Anthony Edwards is the next player on this list. Anthony Edwards. A celebrity in the making, Ant-Man is one of the young players that fans love to watch. However, one time last season in November 2021, with around six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter and his team behind by 10, the young star decided to tell the greatest shooter in NBA history, hey Steph, I might go for 50. Well, Steph just walked away, appearing to say, all right. While Edwards, on the other hand, did his hardest with 1.3 seconds remaining in the game, hitting two clutch free throws to achieve a then career high 48 points after which the buzzer rang and the Warriors won, 123-110. to Luka Doncic The rising superstar phenomenon Luka Doncic is last on the list. It was Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals, and Steph was at the free throw line with approximately a minute remaining in the first quarter. To everyone's surprise, he missed one at the moment. Dang, what's going on, man? You scared? Luka asked. Curry wasn't about to let that go, and responded angrily, Hey Luka, would you shut up? Curry finished the game with a game-high 21 points and a game-high 12 rebounds. However, it wasn't Luka, but it was Curry who ended up having the final laugh. Curry went on to win his fourth chip. Luka learned that day, it might be easy to trash talk Devin and son him, but not Curry. <laughs>